Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Shane Rasserman joins us with all the details on the annual Northwestern Folk Fest. Shane, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, tell us all about it. This is an annual event. It's been going on for years now. 43rd year. Wow. You know, I think it's because losing a folk life is so interesting. The traditions are so fulfilling. I mean, who doesn't love, you know, jambalaya or hearing Cajun music or dancing the Zydeco? So folks really love to come out to the festival and then they come back. You know, this year we have the, everyone loves the crafts. We have the crafts from nine to five. And you know, I, I don't know if you've heard, there's a little bit of a heat wave going on right now. So, oh yeah, it's yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're inside. Right. So it's in Prather Coliseum on the NSU campus. And this is a family free alcohol, free, uh, sorry, a family friendly <laughs> alcohol free festival. And we have crafts from nine to five in the main hall. We have over 75 invited crafts people. Everything from walking sticks to Native American baskets to pots to, and you know, these folks are, they're demonstrating and they're weaving and they're doing that right there in the festival. And, but of course you can still buy. So it's a wonderful opportunity to get those Christmas presents early. But also we have three stages of music. So it's all day long, from Rustin Matoir and the Zydeco Crush to Jambalaya Cajun Band or the Cajun Stompers, and Classic Country, Gal Holiday and the Honky Tonk Review, and uh, Hank Williams Senior Tribute with Hugh Harris and the Drifting Cowboys. And if there's folks out there that are fiddlers, the Fiddle Championship is from one to four, and if you are a fiddler out there, folks, you can still get in on that. There, you know, it's from 12 to one is late registration. It's in the Miguel Rojas Recital Hall right in the NSU campus this Saturday. And folks, we would have cash prizes for the greatest fiddlers in Louisiana of all ages and all talents. You know, if you're, if you're a beginner, that's great. If you're, if you're an old pro, that's also all right. And you know, along those lines of a competition, we have the gumbo cook-off this year. They're going to be cooking right outside the Coliseum. So if you get hot when you're cooking, you can come inside and cool down for a little bit. And if you are a great gumbo cooker, folks, there's no, no, no registration fee to enter the cook-off. And, you know, we have our wonderful Mayor Ronnie Williams, is gonna, Mayor Natchitoches, is going to be our judge. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, and there's, if you go to Louisiana Folk Life Center in any web browser or NSU Folk Festival, you're going to find our homepage. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like it's going to be such a fantastic time, too. Yeah. Now, tell me more about the parking. How do we get tickets? How does that work? You bet. Well, parking's all around the Coliseum, okay. so totally free, and then, and daisy. And, uh, you know, folks, if we get a little rain, don't worry, just like the, just like the sun, we're going to be inside. Tickets are $10 at the door in cash. And you know, children 12 and under free. I got five kids. I know what it's like <laughs> to not be able to do stuff because you, you gotta pay for all them too. Right. So, and then you can bring your kids in, dropping off at the Ladies and Kids Fest, let them teach, you know, crafts to your kids while you go off and eat some gumbo or dance to one of our, out of one of our three stages. How fun. Now tell me more about the Kids Fest part of it. The Kid Fest, we have an awesome Kid Fest. It's, it's these tables right in the Coliseum, so it's all air conditioned for them too. And they make crafts and they also take them on little, I guess, field trips where they bring them out to see the, uh, the blacksmith demonstration out there or they show them the magician, you know, at the festival. Uh, who will never charge a kid any, any at all, by the way. And, uh, and the, or they would take them out to see the wash day demonstration outside. It is amazing. So, you know, this is one of those festivals that a lot of people don't know about because, you know, I don't know why. You know, we're the, it's an incredible event, but, you know, if they come, they will come back. Absolutely, and I have been before, and it is such a great event. Yeah. There's something for everybody there, too, and it's great because the kids, it's more than just someone watching them. They're actually learning something, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, and you know, my kids love it because they kind of grew up with the festival, and they enjoy learning how to lion dance or do occasion dancing with the free dance lessons, or, you know, well, they got free harmonicas, and we're doing it again this year. Ed Hugh is a blues guy. He's going to give away 50 free harmonicas, and is going to teach everyone how to play a couple songs, and then you bring that harmonica home with you, and you can drive your parents crazy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was about to say that exact same thing. You got to it first, though. Okay, so remind us about the time, what day it is, you where bet. we go. This Saturday, NSU campus, Prather Coliseum, 9 a.m. to 9.30, Crafts from 9 to 5, music with blues, 
Zydeco, Cajun, Country, Jazz, all day long until 9.30 p.m. Dancing, of course, Fiddle Championship. Folks, this is the festival in Louisiana where you will have a good time. Absolutely, and all family friendly too. Absolutely, for sure. Yes. And folks, people love the crafts. Over 75 craftspeople, and they're demonstrating right there in front of you, and they want to talk to you, engage with you about their tradition. Or, you know, you can go over to the dance floor, and guys, we have this awesome jazz band. It's a gypsy jazz band from New Orleans, and they are amazing. Well, so it will be a fantastic day, and yep. 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Yes, and we just want to make a shout out to all the great gumbo cookers out there. Folks, really, this is a chance to show us what you got and have that, you know, awesome bragging rights for just, I mean, for years. Elvin Shields, our former champion, he's our reigning champion. He's going to be making his chicken and sausage gumbo, but we also have, so it's the poultry plus category, but we also have the seafood. So whichever one you make, you can enter that, enter that contest, and we will be happy to taste your gumbo, and then you sell it for a buck a cup. Wow. You can't get better than that. A little something for everybody. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Shane, for coming on and telling us all about the Folk Fest this year. We appreciate it so much. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much, Natalie. Of course. We'll be right back with more Good Day Sunlight right after this break.